Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in an off-grid, undisclosed location with another explication request. If you have an explication request, you can send an explication request at guruexamprep.com. This is a Kaplan question, QID 1564203. If it's a Kaplan question, you can just send me the ID and I can br bring it up backstage. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. Uh, close to 4,000 questions. It's the best QBank in class. And it has a performance tracker. You can create custom quizzes, do simulated exams. Uh, with my 15% discount code at checkout, uh, it comes in at $55.80. Uh, I think a wonderful investment. Uh, if you already uh, if you're, need help on it's not a Kaplan question, well, then you'll have to cut and paste it. I'll still help you but I can't bring it up backstage. Anyways, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. All right, so uh, 1564203, an investor with no other positions, sells for DWQ, June 45 calls at four. Woo. First thing I think is, man, what a dumb bear this is. It's like picking up nickels in front of bulldozers. Not a smart idea here. Uh, I'm a potential victim on 400 shares. I have an obligation to sell 400 shares at any time between now and June at $45 a share. For that, I brought in four points. Okay, so that's where I would have pivoted first. That's contract specifications. The calls are exercised. Ooh, that means I'm going to have to go into the open market and deliver the stock at uh, 45. Who knows? Maybe it'll still work out. I might have a big enough cushion to make it out, but Boy, you know, if it's uh, going to be above my break, even I'm having some problems. Uh, what is the investor's profit or loss? Okay, well, there's lots of ways to do options. I like to do options by tracking money in and out. So I do my initial setup, and my initial setup is I brought in four points for the calls. Again, I recommend you do things on a per share basis. Then when I'm all done, I multiply by how many contracts there are. I mean, you could easily put $1,600 in here, but I think it's kind of a mess. And it makes sense because break-evens are expressed per share. So I do per share. Then when I'm all done, say, okay, well, what's it look like? All right, so the calls are exercised. So you should know contract specifications. If you get exercised in a call, that means you're obligated to sell the stock at the strike price, which in this case is 45. I don't have the stock, so I'm going to have to go buy the stock at 47 and a quarter, uh, deliver at 45. So it looks like that still works out, right? I got a two and a quarter loss here on the stock, but I brought in four points initially. So it looks like I still have more money in than out. So I'm a winner. Uh, you know, what I did was sell the volatility here. I mean, the person who uh, bought these calls was uh, right. The stock was up. Uh, they were right about the timing, but they screwed up how far. So I get to keep some money. So between uh, 45 and my break even of 49, I'm a winner. All right, well, let's see. But ideally, it would be 45 or lower. That would be ideal. That's the floor. And then the contracts would expire, and I keep the four points on four contracts. So uh, $1.75 on four contracts times 100 is $7 to get gain. That is the answer. Now, a lot of time people like to just memorize break-evens. That's fine. Uh, you know, I would just warn you, the more things you memorize, the, you know, if you go down that road, you're going to have to memorize more and more. So, you know, I'm a big fan of understanding contract specifications, tracking money. But if you just want to memorize break-evens, fine. You'd say, okay, my break-even's 49. Uh, the strike price is 45. There's my floor. I'm a bear. And so that means I needed to be about, uh, below 49. It's 47 and a quarter. That's one and three quarters in the right direction. So if you want to memorize break-evens, that's fine. As long as you come up with the right answers, nobody cares how you're doing it. All right, so remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I will see you for the next explication request.